remember in our prayer this morning, both Marty Dwaran and the over 1.3 million men and women who died in service of our freedom and of our country. And our entrance antiphon this morning will not be found in any of your books, but we pray together in mind and in heart. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you bring us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us continue in our prayer. O oh God, creator of the world, under whose governance the design for all the ages unfolds, be attentive, we pray, to our petitions, and grant to our times tranquility and peace, that we may exalt with unceasing joy in praise of your great mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Great words to hear for us this morning. As a reminder that so often we try, want to, sometimes need to feel as though we are in control of everything. I'm in control of everything I do in my life and everything I say, and if I try just strong enough, I can also make sure that you do and say exactly what you're supposed to do, and everything in the world is going to happen exactly as I want it to. We like that sense of control. We like to know that as long as we're here, all is good. And then things happen outside of our control. And we wonder, well, how did that happen? I didn't want that to happen. And we realize slowly but surely, we're barely only in control of ourselves, let alone anything or anyone. The world were to stop spinning today, there's nothing any of us could do to make it keep going. That can, at the very core of our being, be very discouraging and very disruptive. That's why it's so important for us to hear the gospel this morning. To remind us that although we are not in control of the world, someone is. He is ultimately in control. He is ultimately the creator and the redeemer. He is ultimately the one that in the midst of what sometimes seems to be chaos, and war, and hatred, and insanity, he is the one who ultimately brings peace. Maybe not a peace that we can feel on a sensory level, but certainly a peace that is true and real and lasting through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We're starting, hopefully, to see a little light at the end of this pandemic to come. We're beginning to talk about the possibility of now moving into phase two. And eventually we'll return to normalcy of life. But yet we wait. And we wonder, what can I do to make it happen today? What can I do to make it happen when I want it to happen? What happens if it doesn't happen when everybody promises it will? But I am not alone. Because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. We're lured and tempted into wanting to place our trust and our faith and our hope in so many people, places, things. 
gospel this morning is reminding us that in the midst of all of that, we need to first and foremost always place our faith and our hope in God. He'll never falter. He'll never fail. He'll never change in his love and in his care for each of us. In the midst of the events of our lives, our future, may we continue to place our faith and trust in God, knowing and believing and hoping and having faith that regardless of what happens around us, God will always ensure our safety and our peace through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the promise of eternal life. As we do always on these national celebrations, remembrances, our prayer of intercession this morning comes from the first inaugural prayer of George Washington by the first Bishop of the United States, John Carroll. And so we pray together for ourselves, for our world, and for our country. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations. God of power and might, wisdom and justice, through you authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. Assist with your spirit of counsel and fortitude the President of each United States, that his administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to your people over whom he presides. May he encourage due respect for virtue and religion. May he execute the laws with justice and mercy. May he seek to restrain crime, vice, and immorality. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct the deliberations of Congress and shine forth in all the proceedings and laws framed for our rule and government. May they seek to preserve peace, promote national happiness, and continue to bring us the blessings of liberty and equality. We pray for the governor of this state, for the members of the legislature, for judges, elected civil officials, and all others who are entrusted to guard our political welfare. May they be enabled by your powerful protection to discharge their duties with honesty and ability. We like, likewise commend to your unbounded mercy all citizens of the United States, that we may be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your holy law. May we be preserved in union and that peace which the world cannot give and after enjoying the blessings of this life, be admitted to those which are eternal. We pray to you, who are Lord and God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the and Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord concord among all your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for after the resurrection of christ our lord he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and Robert our Bishop-elect, and all your holy people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, your mother and our mother, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus has taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
body of Christ. Let us pray. Be still on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Many of you, if not all of you, know Mr. Paul Ellington of our parish. His mom, Audrey, is here this morning. Over the weekend, Paul's 42-year-old daughter, Connie Rod, died. So I ask you to please keep Paul and his family, and Connie and her children, and her husband, and Audrey, in our thoughts and prayers as they begin to unfold this mystery before them over the next days and weeks and years ahead. It's always challenging to lose a child. It's most challenging to lose a child when there's difficult circumstances. So we keep them all in our thoughts and prayers, Audrey. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ending. Thanks be to God. And thanks to all of you for being here with us this morning. As we might pray and worship together as one family, I pray that you have a blessed rest of your day ahead. Thank you. Thank you.